Welcome to today's Emuna Minute. You know, the Navi in the beginning of Shmuel Aleph tells the story of the high priest, the Kohen Gadol Eli. And Eli was an incredible individual, not only because he was the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, running the Mishkan, but also because he became the mentor for Shmuel Hanavi. Young Shmuel is brought to the Mishkan at the age of three, and essentially Eli becomes his surrogate spiritual father, raising Shmuel in the ways of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, ultimately preparing Shmuel to be able to assume his role, his mantle, as the Navi Yisrael, the prophet of Israel. But Eli had two sons, Chafni and Pinchas. And the Navi describes how Chafni and Pinchas engaged in truly negative behaviors. There's a machlokis, there's a discussion amongst the commentaries, the exact nature of their behaviors, but their behaviors were egregious, their behaviors were inappropriate, and their behaviors had no place within the confines of the Mishkan. Eli could have stopped it. Eli could have intervened. Eli could have told his sons, V'chin lo This is not what we do, this is not how we behave. But Eli, for whatever the reason, chose not to do so. And as a result, Eli was held responsible. Eli was held culpable. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says something truly dramatic and heartbreaking to Eli. He says to Eli, all the young men of your family will die. That for all future generations, the men of the house of Eli, the men of the family of Eli, will not survive really into adulthood. And the Gemara discusses that by the age of 18, the members of the house of Eli would pass away. But in today's daf, Gemara Meseches Rosh Hashanah, daf Yud Ches, page 18a in Rosh Hashanah, the Gemara discusses that there were two great descendants of the house of Eli, Rava and Abaye. And the Gemara notes that Rav and Abaye lived past the age of 18. So the Gemara says, how did they merit that? So the Gemara says, Rava da'asik batora chaya arboshnin. Rava, who fully immersed himself in Torah, lived for 40 years. He was able to go ahead and to a certain degree transcend this judgment of the house of Eli. Abaye da'asik batora gumilas chasodim. But Abaye, who engaged in both the learning of Torah as well as acts of charitable kindness, Gemilas Chasodim, he lived 60 years. He lived 60 years. And the truth is, aside from being an incredible story, it's such an important lesson. The power of Torah, the power of Gemilas Chasodim. You know, when we think about learning Torah, we understand learning Torah is beautiful, learning Torah is wonderful. No one's going to tell you it's not a good thing, right? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And we recognize certainly the power of learning Torah from a, from a utilitarian perspective. That Torah is like the owner's manual for life. And how else can you go ahead and navigate life without reading the manual? How do you know what to do, what not to do? The Torah Kedosha gives us that guidance. Chesed. What is a world without chesed? What is a world where it's just every man for himself? What is a world where we don't extend a hand or we don't extend our heart towards the other? But what the Gemara is teaching us is something so much more profound. That Torah is life-affirming. That chesed is life-affirming. That when I have the privilege to learn Torah, I am literally delving into the wellsprings of life. Torah gives me life. Now for some that might mean, like in the case of Rava, that Torah literally extended his life. For many of us it could be that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has decreed I'm going to have the same longevity. But Torah is life affirming in that it infuses meaning into my life. Chesed is not just something that's nice, that's important because how else do you have a society? Chesed is life affirming. When I go ahead and I perform an act of chesed, I am literally, or metaphorically, adding on years to my life. The, potentially the, my longevity, or potentially just the meaning of my life is amplified by every act of chesed. Sometimes the things that we do day in and day out, we don't necessarily appreciate the full profundity and full impact they have. But the Gemara teaches us that when you learn Torah, that is a life-affirming event. When you do chesed and you extend yourself for the other, that too is a life-affirming event. May we be Zohar Mir Hashem to use the days of our lives for these life-affirming events. May we be privileged to fill our days with Torah, to fill our days with chesed. And in that merit, may our lives be extended and may Mir Hashem their impact and meaning be amplified and magnified. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.